They're not your horses looking up. <laughs> okay. All right. Three, two, one. Hello, Starshine here. And joining me tonight is Meteor. As always. Yeah, basically. Um, and tonight we're going to do some training while discussing different topics that we have not decided yet what we're going to talk about. So there's going to be some interesting stuff. Probably some stuff about some TV shows, theories, and stuff like that. So when you're ready, Meteor, we can head on out. Oh, the exit's this way. Yeah. I forgot about that. I could tell. Okay, I'm going to head toward Morley's farm. That's where okay. I'm at on my training route. You know, I had a training route once upon a time. You mean you actually trained your horses? Oh, you should ask Zoe. She, she, uh, she bet me 20 bucks once that I couldn't get one of my horses trained up to level 20 in under a week from level 1. You mean level 15? <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyways, I did it. And I thought she was joking about the 20 bucks until she gave it to me. <laughs> so, I bet something like that you'll actually do it. <laughs> Miss the jump. Okay, first thing first on my agenda list for today, buying a horse. Of course. That's yeah, not okay. Get... I haven't gotten one of the crystal horses yet. Fair. Are you going to get either of the cats? Mm, too expensive. They're, they're, they're not cute enough for me to want. Okay, well, hold on. The blue gray one's pretty cute. Yeah, the gray one, the purple one's just weird looking. the The gray one is pretty cute. I might, I might get the gray one. Okay, they're not. They're, I thought they were four hundred. They're only three fifty. Okay, that that's not too bad actually. I think I'm gonna get the gray horse. I'm not a big fan of that purple one. Yeah, I, I liked I like the gray one more. But I also like purple. So Yeah. Besides, I needed to have both Crystal King and Crystal Guardian. Gosh. I could have the most chaotic duo in all of Ninjago. I guess they're not chaotic. The most formidable. The most dangerous duo. Hello, the hand question. Do you think the hands of time were more dangerous or Overlord and um Harumi? Overlord and Harumi. But the time twins could literally rewind time or stop time or fast forward time. Well, yeah, but they didn't really destroy the city. They could have if they wanted to. Well yeah, if they wanted to, but that wasn't their goal. That's true. Okay, what shall I name this horse? Hmm. Blue Crystal. Well, uh, the random my name that I just got was Light Zebra, so. <laughs> yes. 
light zebra. Oh, there went my phone. <laughs> well. Movie purple. Hmm. Oh, gosh. This is just. No, I was trying to type something in, you damn computer. <laughs> okay, clearly I'm doing this old fashioned way. Yeah, why did they have to put white against navy blue? Like, I can barely read these. I don't know. Like, come on, okay, this is awful for people who have bad vision, like myself. <sighs> okay. Okay, what about Charm Caster? Ooh. That's a good one. I, I like it. I say go for it. Okay. How many circles do I have going on? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> By the kitty. Do you think the Overlord will ever come back in Ninjago? Uh, yes. And without a doubt. This is what the second time they defeated him? Yes. There's the digital, digital Overlord and then the actual embodiment. Well, it wouldn't be the third time then. Because the first time was when Garmadon freed him from the island and Lloyd broke his foot. Oh, yeah. So it would have been their um, third time. I feel like the Overlord's just one of those ones that never truly goes away. Yeah. Just kind of like always there, looming in the shadows. Because let's face it, without the Overlord, they wouldn't have a reason for the ninja. Yeah.
What do you think is going to happen with like the Crystal Council? Do you think any new members are going to be added? I think any of the members of the Crystal Council will have redemption. Well, you see that that's difficult to say because they're they were all pretty much all but disbanded after uh, the events. That's true. That's what I'm looking for. Hmm. To buy an alcohol. Al critique or not, because they're only five ten. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna go buy one right now, so oh, then after I check the price on something I need. I'm curious to see what the long mane on this elf critique would look like. Ooh, the long version of the mane has gold tips on it, like its tail. But I don't, I don't know, something about the elf critiques when you add manes to them just looks wrong. Yeah, it was. It's just, it's not how they're meant to be. That's why it looks so wrong. Okay, I just spent a hundred and ten star coins in a saddle, so it would match my bridle. Yes. Now I'm going to go buy an Alatique, and I will still have over 5,000 Star Coins left over after buying two horses, a cat, and a saddle. Yeah, so I currently I have 1,339 Star Coins. Gosh. Well, I got to turn on my fan in my room. I'm getting hot. <laughs> If I do get an Alatique, it's going to be a, a the double gray one or the yellow one. I have the dapple gray, the steel gray, and the... I think the, uh, the buckskin looking one. Yeah, that's the yellow one I was talking about. Yeah. Let's see, I have the kind of dark bloody bay this gr the kind of lighter gray one that looks like a koala and oh the steel one. gray yeah yeah the only ones i have yeah i'm thinking about uh the uh carmelo i got flower curtains favorite Well, I don't. I don't have any horses in my stable that color. Ironic, considering I have literally every other color in my stable. <laughs> I don't think I'll get a horse this video. I have too. I have too many horses. I'm going to wait until I get more trained up. Hoods <laughs> out. Because I think I might want to get one of the horses from the last year. But, um, they might be releasing an updated Lip is Honor. Is there any question festival? Yeah, do they know, um, do we know what they, um, New horse for this year's um, festival is going to be? 
I think it's going to be updated lip is honors. There's a teaser of a picture of an outline, and it's in the lip is on her stance. Well, okay, I'm ch- I'm looking at these. I'm trying to figure out which one's the Carmelo, the more cream one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. With the brownish mane, the other one's white. No, that one looks more Palomino. Hmm? It'd help Hold if on. I could zoom in. Hold on, let me head up there. I was down doing the race. Let me get the two of them side by side. So there's one with a yellowish tint and one with a pinkish tint. Yeah. Yeah, the one with the yellowish tint, it looks more like a Palomino because Carmelos have a pink skin on them, so they have more of a pinkish, creamyish tint to them. I guess you're right. I, I think the one with more of the golden tint supposed to be like the traditional looking. Alcatik. Okay, I'm getting the pinkish one. The only mane that looks good on these horses if it if he were to change their mane is the braided one. Yeah. Otherwise, it just it looks weird. Mm-hmm. Okay. Name it. Um, I don't know. I could name him Waffle. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I just wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to name him Waffle. Oh, that would be pretty funny.
I can name him Onion. Because that's a name option now. Since when can you name a horse in this game Onion? I don't know. Egg. I can name him Baby Nugget. Aww. Stop yawning. What? You yawned. Oh, I'm sorry. And he caused me to yawn. Mm. What are your hopes for the next season of Ninjago? Well, it's, they're not making a new season. They're oh, making a new series. series. Okay. Series, season, same difference. Um, that won't be so predictable. Because uh, I'm not going to lie. Towards the end there, it was starting to get pretty predictable. Yeah. After Master of the Mountain, it got predictable. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to see each of the ninja turn into the elements like how Nia did. How how Nia became one of the sea, have them become one of their elements like that, and then have to like fix that whole problem. Yeah, and hopes that they don't say that way because how can Nia? I mean, not Nia. <laughs> Kai and Skylar be together? <laughs> and he's constantly on fire. <laughs> right. Well, how could any of them be of any of them? I mean, can you picture that? Like, they just fixed Nia, and then Jay turns into full-on lightning. <laughs> yeah, just a ball of lightning. <laughs> that, that's all I can see. A ball of lightning. <laughs> I could see a rock statue for for Cole. Yeah. Uh, a ball of green energy for Lloyd. <laughs> or just, I don't know, just something green. Watch him turn out to be like a plant. Wait! No, he's a plant, and then um, Garmadon takes care of him because he's happy that he's a plant. <laughs> right, because he clearly cares about... Okay, I bought a plant. Did you name it Christopher? Well, no, no, remember, I have Christopher, but no, I bought a living plant. Oh, gosh. You know, the last two haven't, weren't successful, so you know what they say, you know, the third time's the charm. Or three strikes and you're out. <laughs> yeah, that too. Listen, okay, it cost me two ninety nine at Trader Joe's. So, you know, if it dies, I'm not going to be overly heartbroken. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great attitude to have. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh, I can name my horse a zombie. A zombie. <laughs> Yeah, I question some of the names they've put under here. Like, Yoga. Who's gonna name the horse? <laughs> Anything Yoga. Mm. <sighs> Zane would just be a ball of ice. Well, I feel like he'd be more like an ice sculpture. 
That's true. We would just be confused looking into a uh, retirement. <laughs> I, think Again. Been, I think he's been looking into retirement for a while. <laughs> yeah. I could name my horse a walker. That's a. Uh... Yeah, name it like. Oh, can you name it Imperial Walker? Mm, I'm not sure. Hold on, let me, let me stick Walker and then go see if Imperial is an option. <sighs> And no, their ice section is very short too. Ice, illusion, indigo, iron, and ivory. Oh, dang it. Ooh, what about Star Destroyer? Well, I know Star's an option, so we're gonna ignore that. Let's see if Destroyer's an option. I'm doubting it. I don't know. They have some pretty questionable ones under here, so. No, Destroyer is not an option. Mm. But, well, you know, I could, I could name my horse Dol Dolphin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Starship. And then, like, name it, like, nickname it, um, after one of the ships. Okay, I'm gonna do that. If I get uh, the white out, the white pink tinted out critique, it's gonna be named Starship, aka the Resolute. I can name him Fluffy Cake. <laughs> I wouldn't really call him Fluffy, but... I question some Star Stables watch. Yeah.
I can name him Sand Saga. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. His, uh, his name is now Sand Saga. We'll call him uh, Sandy for short, I guess. Why not Sand call him Tatooine? Alright. Sand- I didn't mean to ride this one. I wanted my other horse. Damn it. Rip. Well, why not ta- train up Sand <laughs> Okay, it's official. I now own four of these horses. Is that the most of one breed that you own? I might have to double check that. I own a lot of your Rick Wilds. Really? Yes. How many your Rick Wilds have you bought? I don't even. I only remember you buying the Ember Main. Hold on, I'm double. I'm double checking my uh, Yervik Wilds here. Oh, I only have three of those ones. Where do you ever see you have the birthday one? Oh yeah. And then, um, Mockingbird, the, uh, Halloween one. Oh, yes. That means I own four of that. No, I own five, I think. So I have the birthday one, the two Halloween ones, the Ember Main, and then one regular one right now. Yeah, I own five. I think the one breed I own the most of, if not, well, I own all of them, is the, um, Percheron. Yeah, I've got Technically I have four Yorvik starter ponies. I've got three Gen ones and then a Gen three. I own all the Yorick ponies. All the Gen 3 ones. So I'm not sure if that's more than the um, Pertrons or not. However, this isn't the horse I want to ride right now. I want this one. No. Okay, that that's great. What? My um keypad isn't working. Oh, no. Well, That's I'm not good. I'm just going to have to 
get really close to the horse I wanted to ride to dismount to mount onto it. Okay, that that's weird. Guess that's what I get for having <sighs> for using a uh, an old laptop. Yeah. <laughs> yawn. What? You're making me yawn. I'm sorry. Okay. I've been up since like 6 40 this morning. Same. My, uh, my damn guinea pig had to go get a sinus infection. So now Fun. she's right. So now she's on antibiotics for the next two weeks. My space bar doesn't work. Okay, I can't train. That's not good. Ah, oh, shucks! It looks like I can't train. Uh, you do realize there's some races that do not require jumping. Yeah, no, but it's faster to jump. Hmm. My keyboard's going haywire now. <laughs> Do you think we'll see any of the villains returning in the next se series of Ninjago? I mean, it's a possibility. What about any redeemed villains that could become allies? That that is definitely possible, but I kind of hope they bring Morrow back. Kind of hard for his voice actor now, also playing Cole, but I could see him possibly doing it. Oh yeah, but or they might just replace Morrow's voice actor altogether. But why, when he has such an iconic voice? I mean, I've seen times in shows where. A guy's voice, two characters in the same show. Well, yeah, but it's not the most ideal thing. All right, well, I'm at Starshine Ranch. Except for, you know, Bradley D. Baker, who just ends up voicing all the clones. <laughs> I know, can you imagine being in a recording booth by yourself, having to just say stuff to yourself? Right, just, you're, you're just having a conversation with yourself at that point. Like, how does he not laugh at himself in certain scenes? Oh, I'm sure he does. That, or I'm sure the sound set guys are laughing their butts off. Oh my god, okay, so I was reading this thing that um, Dave Filoni had said mm -hmm. when uh, he made, when he was um, in the works of making the Clone Wars, the um, the guy that they uh, had voice Anakin mm -hmm. wasn't the original voice actor that they wanted for him. Hmm. But um, something about how the other guy's voice wasn't right or anything. But anyways, when um, Ashley Eckstein, the person who voices um, Ahsoka, walked into the recording studio because she was the first person to be cast. Yeah. Out of everyone else for that show, she was the first person. And the new voice actor for Anakin walks in and is all like, no, the fans are going to want a relationship between Anakin and Ahsoka, and we're not going to let that happen. Okay? And then he just left, and that was her first introduction with him. 
Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Right? And I mean, it's true. Okay, a lot of fans wanted a relationship between Anakin and Sokka, but that just wasn't going to happen. No, because you had Padme. Yeah, and even even if he didn't, it's just not right. Anakin, Anakin was supposed, it's supposed to be more of a brother figure. Their relationship is supposed to be brother-sister type relationship. Yeah. Bright pink. A donkey. Ooh, you found a donkey. I found a donkey. It's kind of cute. I want to keep it. I wish we had donkeys as walking pets. It wouldn't exactly fit in our saddlebags, though. Unless it was a mini one. We got mini donkeys, kind of like how we have the yo goats. Yeah. Good news, my horse is uh, level two. That's thanks to the donkey. I don't see you. Where are you? Chilling over by the uh, horses. Oh, shopping for my next potential prospects. When did they move the Appaloosas over here? Like a while ago. Well. Pay attention, I do not. <laughs> oh, which saddle blanket is that? Um, I think I got it in the um Halloween village. Mm. It's the misty rainbow style pad. So oh, that must have from the Rainbow Festival. Yeah. Well, good job. You trained your horse up one level. Yep. I know on my screen it still shows it as level one. Okay. Well, he's level two and three quarters, so. Meanwhile, my horse is level 10 and three quarters. Eh, logistics. <sighs> yeah, we really gotta stop doing these late at night. We really do. But that's the only time we have time. Right? Because you work on my one day off. (laughs) I mean, I guess we could technically do them in the afternoons on Sundays. We could, but that requires me to actually get away from my family for more than five minutes. Yeah, same. Well, actually, okay, it's not that hard because my mom works on Sundays and mm-hmm. my dad doesn't care what I do. So as long as I get the dishes done before my mom gets home from work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Last question. Do you think there'll be any... Love interests for Lloyd. Will Lloyd ever find love, or will he only find heartbreak? Uh, one could hope. <laughs> no, he needs. He needs someone other than his mother, that loves him in life. <laughs> oh. Well, technically, the ninja, like, you know, love him as a brother. Well, yeah, but and Wu loves him as his nephew. But yeah, no, I agree. Um, here's the thing, though. Do you think Akita will make the cut? Possibly. 
Oh, she does live in the farthest realm from Ninjago. So that might complicate things. Just a wee bit. And do you think Cole will ever have a love interest? Or will he just forever be eternally bound to cake? (laughs) I feel like cake is the answer. (laughs) (sighs) I love Cole. Love him to bits. But he has an unhealthy obsession with cake. Don't we all? That's true. My question is, how can he eat so much cake and still look that toned? High metabolisms. True. All right, well, thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you had fun watching us train. And listening to Meteor try and figure out what horses to buy. For once, Meteor has more star coins than me. Shocking. Sure, I've still got over 5,000 left. Meanwhile, me at 1,000. Well, 1,339, but still. All right. Hope you enjoyed our chat. Comment below. Any other uh, topics you wish us to discuss, like theories for the game, um, we know Star Wars theories, Marvel theories, um, Ninjago theories, whatever theories do we know? I don't know. I'm too tired to think. So. Well, Star Stable theories. So. Yeah, comment below what you want us to talk about in the next podcast episode. Perhaps if I have time tomorrow between all of my crazy activities, I'll do an All My Horses video. Although that's going to probably take a couple hours since I have over 100 horses. So, yeah. If not, that will be coming probably next Friday. Alright, this is Starshine and Meteor. Dining off.